running again. It's been ages since I've done a World War II recipe. So I thought I'd come back on and film something. Um, I found a recipe for savoury potato biscuits. You know me. I like anything that's a, a little odd and a little um, strange because I'm always quite interested to see how it actually turns out. So I thought I'd cook this today in my kitchen. The first recipe I think I've cooked for the 1940s experiment in my kitchen. I'm renting a house in Swindon, Wiltshire, returned to my roots, it's where I was brought up. And I've been here two years now, so it shows you what a long time it's been since I've um, cooked a recipe. So yeah, savoury potato biscuits from this book, which is Eating for Victory, Healthy Home Front, Cooking on Wartime Rations. And the book basically is a book of reproductions of official World War II instruction leaflets um, by Jill Norman. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to go through the recipe with you and the ingredients for the savoury potato biscuits. So in here it says savoury potato biscuits, two ounces of margarine, three ounces of plain flour, three ounces of cooked mashed potato, six tablespoons of grated cheese, one and a half teaspoons of salt, pinch of cayenne or black pepper. Um, so I'm vegan. Um, so I don't eat dairy, so I'm using Via Life here instead. Very handy, grated cheese kind of flavour. So I'm going to be using that instead of cheese. Well, my flour's weighed out, my margarine's laid it, weighed out. Um, there's my salt and black pepper, and I'm cooking the mashed potato right now. So as soon as that's cooked, um, we'll be well on the way. And apparently this makes... 24 three inch biscuits hmm we'll see i'm not so sure sometimes these recipes say it's going to be 24 three inch biscuits but in fact it ends up being about half the amount but um, anyway i'm looking forward to this done mashed potato you don't need to put anything in it just plain old boiled potatoes mashed up for this recipe because you've got the seasoning and the margarine in with the savoury potato biscuits. Cool. You want to see what three ounces of mash looks like, don't you? <laughs> it's practically nothing. So the recipe is telling me to next rub the margarine into the flour, add the potato, cheese and seasoning and work into a stiff dough. Roll out thinly, cut into shapes, bake in a moderate oven for 15 to 20 minutes. This quantity makes 24 biscuits. Let's put the oven on then, shall we? Moderate oven, I guess that's about 180. There we are. Yep. We are ready to go. So the next thing we have to do is rub the margarine into the flour, add in the salt and the pepper, add in the cheese, add in the potato and sort of mix it together um, into a stiff dough, roll it out, cut it out, bung it in the oven. Oh, I'm making a pig's ear of this, aren't I? Oh, I better put this camera down and use two hands. So there's the dough ready to be rolled out. I've just got to find myself a cutter. I've got quite a selection there, haven't I? A three inch, which I presume looks like it's probably this size. Now, do I go for the plain edge or this little frilly edge? Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Hell's bells, you never know what. It's been so long since I baked something that I used my rolling pin for an art supply and it's got paint all over it. So I've been frantically looking around for something I can use as a rolling pin and pretty much a flask is the only flat-sided object I have apart from um, <laughs> my olive oil and I'm not sure that would work. It might cause a huge accident and that wouldn't be good after all this effort I'm going to. So the flask it is. 
as a rolling pin. Motto, be prepared. So with your rolling pin, or in this case, with your flask, you need to roll the dough out so it's nice and thin. This is no way is this going to make 24 biscuits, no matter how thin I um, roll it. So um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, nine out of the dough. And it looks like I'll probably get four or five more. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 30. I'm hoping for about 14 biscuits. It's certainly not 24 of them. So I measured my cutter and it's actually two and a half inches. And the amount of biscuits it made is five, 10, 15, 16 biscuits at two and a half inches. I don't think I could have got them much thinner. So I think um, the calculations on the Ministry of Foods leaflet is incorrect. So in they go. I've pricked them on top as well. And the only thing I don't like about baking is all the washing up you have to do. <sighs> Just get on with it. Sneak a peek. Let's see how they're getting on. Oh, uh, they are cooking. They look like they're probably two thirds of the way cooked. Oh, well, it's all done now. I will just leave it to dry. I think it's time to get them out now. They've been in for a good half hour. I even had to um, put the temperature up a little bit. I probably had them at a bit of a low temperature. So let's see if we can get this out one handed while filming with my camera. Yeah, I think they'll do. Okay. My gosh, I didn't burn them. It's a miracle. Well, I hope these sort of crisp up as they cool. I'm sure they will. They smell quite nice. Um, yeah, I guess time will tell to what they really taste like. Um, they're not going to be thrown in the bin, that's for sure, even if they don't taste that great, because I'm sure there's always something I can bung on top, maybe even a bit of hummus, and that will taste will make it taste a lot better than it is but I don't know yet I'm waiting till they cool before I taste them this is where I typically would take a photograph for my blog my camera is just charging at the moment so um I will come down later and do that but now it's time for a taste test guess what it's taste test time so I've got one of these savory potato biscuits which I'm about to try, and I'll give you my verdict. Mm. <laughs> well, it's not quite crunchy, but I think it's not 100% cool yet either, because I just couldn't wait. Mm. That's quite tasty. Slightly salty. I would say put in a teaspoon of salt instead of a teaspoon and a half of salt. That really is quite tasty. Uh, could eat it plain for sure. Be nice to put something on it. Like hummus. Mm, but probably wait till it's 100% cool. But I just couldn't wait. But yeah, thumbs up. Not a bad recipe. And as for cost, um, about 10p for flour, 10p for a potato. Um, the cost really is in the cheese. I, of course, use Dairy Free via Life which is about £2.50 um, a pack. I've probably used maybe 40 peas worth. So it's about 60 p, and it makes 16 2.5 inch biscuits. Can't work that out what they cost each per biscuit, but um, yeah, quite economical, I think. Anyway, it was quite nice, quite a pleasant surprise. Give it a go. Hmm, they're actually really growing on me. I'm back again, by the way. Um, the little bits of black pepper really add to the flavour. Yeah, I would have perhaps turned the oven up slightly higher at the beginning. I put them in at about 170. I'd probably put them in at 180, 190 and cook them for a good 30 minutes until golden brown. Yep, I will make these again. Um, there's not that many left on the plate. Um, they definitely have grown on me. I think that's about my fifth or sixth maybe more 
7.8 out of 10 now.